Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about Evernote Global Hotkeys. Quick keyboard shortcuts that can make your use of Evernote go a lot faster. Okay, so I'm here in Evernote. Now Evernote has a lot of ways that you can get stuff into Evernote and to find stuff in Evernote, but what a lot of people don't know is there's some really easy to use keyboard shortcuts that will make using Evernote a lot faster. And what I'm going to do is show you how to set those up and use them on the Mac, and then uh, we'll flip to Windows and show you. It's pretty similar, but I'll just show you in Windows as well. So to see what global hotkeys there are, you go up to Evernote here, go to Preferences, and what you want to do is make sure you go to this Shortcuts tab. And you can see here, there's a whole bunch of shortcuts that they have set up. So I'll just kind of tell you what they are one by one, and then we'll go through using them. And these are ones that are set by default, I believe, and you can set them to whatever you want if you don't like some of these, or maybe they conflict with other programs. So the first one, new note, is obviously to go in and create a new note in Evernote, in the Evernote client. The second one is to take whatever you have in your clipboard paste it into Evernote as a new note. The third one's really handy. It lets you take a portion of the screen, select it, and then clip that into Evernote as a new note. The next one, which I don't seem to have a shortcut set up, is to just take the full screen, take a screen grab of it, and shove it into Evernote. And finally, the one that I use probably the most is to search in Evernote. So from from any other app application, it will jump to Evernote, select all notes, and then put the focus on the search bar. So one thing to remember about these global keyboard shortcuts is they are not, you don't have to be sitting in Evernote to use them. From any other application, you can use them to, to look up uh, and to execute. So I'm going to show you how that works now. All right, so I'm in Google Chrome right now. And let's say that I just think to myself, oh, I should make a note about something. So what I do is I hit the, one of the global shortcuts that I had set up. Set up. So I'm going to hit Control Command N. And you can see here that this is created, this is flipped over to the Evernote application. And it's created a new note. And I can go in and type whatever I want. So that's the easiest shortcut to use. It just creates a new note, a fast way to create a new note. Okay, we're back in tr Chrome. Now let's try taking some text and copying it into uh, Evernote. So let's just highlight this piece of text here. And I'm going to copy it. So you can do it a bunch of different ways, but I'm going to right click and choose copy. And then I'm going to go Control Command V. And you can see right away that's flipped over to Evernote, loaded up the a new note, and pasted in the stuff that I had just copied works really well. But let's say we wanted to clip a region of the screen and not just some text. How do you go about doing that? So we're back in Chrome again and let's say we wanted to capture a region of this. This is really great for taking screenshots of certain things if you're looking at a website or something like that. So what we do is we go Control Command C. You can see these little rec this little uh, uh, trigger things come up and I'm going to select this rectangle and let go. And you can see that it's created a new note, called it Screenshot, and pasted in a, a perfect screenshot of what we were just looking at. And then I can go and save it from there. So finally, let's do some searching. OK, so we're back in Chrome. And let's say we want to do a search. We want to look something up in Evernote. Of course, you can go to the Evernote application, go to the search box. But it's much easier to just hit Control-Command-E. And you can see that has flipped us to the Evernote application. We're on the All Notebooks notebook, and we can just start typing. The, the focus is already in the search box, so very ha handy. So that's how you do it in the Mac. Now, this is actually comes in handy for another, another reason, in that in Evernote, by default, when you search, it's going to search on the notebook that you're in. But if you want to quickly do a search for all notebooks, you can do that same, that same command. Control Command E, and that will flip you up to the All Notebooks, and it will put the focus in the search box. 
So that's how to do all this stuff on the Mac. Let's take a quick look at Windows and see if there's any differences. Okay, so now we're in Evernote on Windows. So what we're going to do is go to Tools, Options, and you can see here there's the Hotkeys tab. And here you have, similar to the Mac version, you've got a bunch of different um, uh, global hotkeys that will work the same. So I'm not going to go through all of these because it's basically the same thing as on the Mac that I just showed you. But you can see there's one for a new note, find an Evernote, capture the screen, copy just a selection, and paste the clipboard. So we'll try a few, two of them out, let's say. So the first one is, um, let's flip over here to Chrome. And let's say we want to capture part of this screen, similar to what we did before. We'll go Windows, Print Screen, and you can see we've got the familiar, the familiar uh, cross thing. And we'll just go up here. We'll highlight part of this. And now that we've let go, that we've got a new image in Evernote that is that exact screen clip that we just captured. And we'll just do one more quick example. So let's flip to Chrome and we'll do a quick search. So we'll go Windows Shift F and you can see it's right away flipped to Evernote, gone to all notes and has highlighted the search box. So we can type something in right away and it's going to bring back our search. We don't even have to click into the search box. So those are some ways that you can use global hotkeys in Mac and Windows Evernote. It, once you get them to committed to muscle memory, it'll make your use of Evernote a lot faster. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.